in fact going to film me in the bed my alarm going off well not that but me in bed saying hello but then cashew decided oh i'm about to dutch oven this in her own room so he farted and it stunk and i had to escape so here we are i washed my hair last night i want to see how it's gonna look today as you can see that some are flat but that's not really my fault okay she looks promising my day two hair reveal is always so fun because it always hits yeah. <laughs> yeah it's eating guys does my hair not look fabulous i always hate washing my hair like in the moment but then the second i'm done and i see like my big curly hair for the first time in probably like 21 business days. I'm so excited. And I found a TikTok about it last night. I just got these hoops off Amazon. I ordered them like two days ago and they came the next day. And I've always wanted these because I just, I, I love mini hoops. I think they're so fun. Hey, good morning. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what happened between like 10 minutes ago and now because I am on 10 freaking thousand. Can it my hair like not? You guys hate when I touch my hair on camera. And I just think let's let Aaliyah do whatever she wants. So, yes. Okay, I think I'm going to try and attempt to make my most recent Starbucks order because I think that's fun, fresh, and you guys would like to see that. I use Starbucks blonde vanilla latte. You guys are gonna have to sit on my pod holder i apologize <laughs> i'm getting a new tripod today it's either i have a huge one or one that's not tall enough so i just ordered one yesterday i'm not gonna lie it was a pretty little freaking penny for what it is but i'm glad to have one soon um since it's a venti we're gonna use this cup don't have two percent milk because i'm 21 why would i be buying two percent milk i'm too young for that let me get wait let me oh shit let me get ice let me do that it's the color changing cup yep yeah, I'm gonna take my Torani. It's six pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of fucking syrup. I have regular lactose-free Trader Joe's milk, so this is just gonna have to suffice. I really don't know how much milk I'm supposed to put in here. Oh, wait, there's supposed to be caramel in here. Hold on. Just a mess. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my opinion and start with the milk ending here because it is a latte, so it's mostly milk anyways. I'm gonna let that settle. Oh, I got milk everywhere. If this tastes exactly like my Starbucks order, which costs $7, I'm gonna be a little pissed. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you. Today we're starting a new week in my life as a post-grad, full-time content creator, except I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to film. I'm gonna film everything and then we'll figure out how this video flows in editing. Today um, is usually my planning. This shot of espresso looks disgusting. I mean like, okay. Okay, there, it's giving Vinci. Let's do a taste test. I am not nervy because you can never go wrong with vanilla, so. But there is no creamer, so that's the one thing I am scared about. This literally tastes exactly the fucking same. Well, there's that. I've been trying my best to keep all my work stuff under wraps. You guys don't hear about it 24-7, so I'm just gonna have a dedicated video to what it's like being a content creator um, full-time post-grad. I may or may not be inserting a Q&A to make this video more interesting and answering your questions about my job full-time because a lot of people watch my videos and they're like, what do you do? <laughs> You're watching it in real time. I feel like you guys know that I've always felt some type of way with school getting in the way of my full potential. And I feel like I've been proving that in the past couple months. And then to top it off, today I have a nail appointment and it's in an hour, it's at 10. And my clothes are in the dryer. I haven't ate. This week, I'm busy because I'm officially a TikTok. I've been posting on TikTok and it's embarrassing. Like, I don't know what it is, but posting on TikTok is so embarrassing. I'm trying a new nail tech today because I told myself I want to get in the habit of making sure if my hair isn't always done, my nails are always going to be done. Be having options. I love Zarya down. Y'all know that. That's my homegirl since like the sixth grade. But Zarya be booked. No room for little Leah. And... <laughs> Be hurt because it's like, girl, what happened? I thought it was us. What happened? I thought it was us. I'm going the acrylic route after I said I don't want to do acrylic anymore. But I know what I'm gonna get. It's very basic. I just getting my nails done, and then I also think I'm getting my toes done today because I haven't got my toes done since Aruba. 
Um, I think my appointment's only gonna take like an hour or something like that. That's what she said on her website. But I'm not too sure if I'm gonna film or not because she is a new nail tech and I don't want her to feel like weird. I literally just went on her website, hit book, put my ID in because she doesn't require a deposit to book. And then that's it. So maybe I wanna get keep, maybe I don't. We have to see how the work is. Um, I have nowhere to put my camera, but um, my boyfriend's here. You wanna say hi? He's coming. I love my people. I'm saying this because um, I have new stuff that I bought yesterday from Target that I wanted to try. I got a bunch of um, e.l.f. products and I'm going to be doing very light makeup because even though I feel like you shouldn't get too done up for appointments, I don't want to go look at a damn mess. You're just supporting what that girl said. What? You remember that one girl left? This is the e.l.f. soap brow stuff. I have old um, brow stuff in here already, so. I saw this and was like, that's so interesting. Let me try to do my brows with this. This is first impressions. Um, how? Oh, you dampen it first. <laughs> you dampen it and then you put it in and then it like gels up a little bit and then you go up, 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 up. I don't really like this. I think this is kind of stupid. Um, <laughs> what she said. I just got the text. <laughs> We're gonna have to reschedule slash change my appointment. I've never been like too picky about stuff like that because stuff be happening and girl, I don't have a traditional job. I can literally go whenever except 3 p.m. on Fridays when I have my weekly updates call. And even then I could still go, I would just be on the phone. I'm not really tripping about it. So I'm just gonna finish getting ready. I could actually wear what I wanted to wear today. So that's always fun and fresh. I'm waiting for it to finish in the dryer right now. Is it dry? It should be close to dry. Where are they? That's a shirt, um, where are my pants? Oh, here they go. They're dry, I'm gonna put them on. Since we're gonna cancel slash reschedule, I'm just going to find something else to do today. I probably still could get my toes done, but I wanted to do that as a package deal because I don't like sitting in the same spot for too long because the act of actually getting my nails done is actually very annoying. I hate the sitting and like getting them done part, but I love them being done. So I was just gonna go ahead and knock out my nails and toes same day, but since I can't get my nails done today, I am going to go ahead and not get my toes done. So I'm ready. <laughs> what do we think of the makeup today? Is it fun? Is it giving Ariane? I haven't mentioned this anywhere, but I am in fact starting a kind of 75 soft challenge, except I'm not trying to like almost myself through this challenge. Basically what it is for 75 days, there's a list of things that I have to do non-negotiable every single day. Post my little list that I have because I don't think y'all understand the lack of discipline that I have. So hopefully throughout these 75 days, I'll begin to grow some. And you guys are probably wondering, Leah, these are such easy things, da da la la. Might be easy for y'all, but very hard for me. I have no structure in my life whatsoever. Kind of disgusting and nasty. You would think I would have a little bit more control over what I'm doing. Um, but for some reason, I feel controlless every single day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get half of my moving time around by taking Cashew on a short little walk around the neighborhood. And then we're gonna start our work day. I'm also not really hungry for breakfast, which is why I haven't ate. But I was thinking, oh, maybe we can go to Starbucks to get some work done today. But it's like, oh, I already made coffee. So maybe we'll go tomorrow and do something because today's usually my filming days. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and take cash on a walk real quick. And then we'll discuss today's schedule, if that makes sense. I hope this motivates you guys to either content create or get up and get what you need to done. What the hell? Back from our walk, I got a package. I checked the mail on our walk, so I'm gonna see what it is. It has the Amazon logo on it, but I quite frankly do not remember what it is. I ordered um, these little toiletry type bags because I usually like to keep a duffel bag in my car with like spare clothes, extra toothbrush, because you never know when you're gonna get stranded or you wanna spend the night somewhere like unknowingly, like randomly. Let's say you get too drunk one night, can't drive home, don't wanna take an Uber, you go to your friend's house, they'll take care of you, whatever. So I ordered these two little bags to go within that duffel bag for like toiletries and stuff like that. And then I recently ordered like two different sizes of this as well. So I have two sets of these now and those are for my car and my tote bag. So I'm gonna be packing those up this week. Maybe I'll film like a what I keep in my car type of video and like things I bought for my car that I don't regret because I feel like that'll be super fun. fuck just fell um i'm literally sending sitting tooted up let me turn <laughs> i sit up here and lie i haven't worked down here in a really long time because i literally got dining chairs and i was like oop 
since it's Monday, it's usually my planning and filming day. So I'm gonna start my day off with doing a little bit of planning and then we're going to get into filming. My office, I'm not gonna lie, is a shit show right now. But as long as my like desk area is like generally like okay when it comes to the madness, I don't really mind being in here. But for weeks on end, it literally looked like a tornado hit it. And I, this is all mail. And I'm not gonna read a single piece of it. Is my computer f <laughs> <laughs> So my boyfriend's mom, she took us to see Beyonce casually. And ever since then, she knows that I like love ballroom, voguing, all of it. So now every time she sees a TikTok, <laughs> she says it to me. It's like, I thought you would like this. And like, girl, you're absolutely right. I love this. Thank you for making my day. Okay, back to planning. <laughs> Oh my god, why is this so crooked? The time is currently 1 p.m. Where did the time go? I don't know. I'm gonna film today, but what I've been doing is planning and outlining and all that fun stuff. Make my videos more interesting for y'all. But I did DoorDash some Zaxby's. I probably should have went and got this myself, but I have the whatchamacallit. But I have the Dash Pass, so I'm like sluggish lazy stupid and unconcerned and if i'm paying for the dash pass i'm gonna get doordash whenever i want fast food so i don't have to pay for delivery i'm one of those people that get a salad it's like oh i'm healthy i'm eating a salad and then the salad in question has bacon fried chicken cheese bread carbs everything you can name that probably isn't the best for you but we'll still say i'm eating healthy because it's a salad clock that to you i think i'm gonna go ahead and take a break from working and i am going to eat my lunch <laughs> That's so funny. Is it giving teacher? Is it giving secretary? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I'm gonna get myself to about 1.30 and then we're going to get back into it and I'll talk to you guys with what we're gonna do next. So, mm-mm, that's ugly. This is why I can't film me eating this. Let's film some voiceovers, y'all. Curly day wash, what? And a half. So as you can very fine, so this will have cut. And if I'm not being organized, it's three things. I want y'all to say hi because I feel like I never go live anymore. Like. Girl, you're so fake. Is there anything on my screen that's detrimental in the back? No. Okay. The giving. Ah, say hi, guys. I'm gonna talk to both of you at the same time. I'm gonna be looking back and forth, but I'm addressing both of you. I just feel like, me thinking about 2019 and how amazing it was, I feel like 2019 was also the year of like lives. Like people would get on live and just be doing nothing. They'll be like picking their fucking toenails and they'll be like, oh, what's your favorite color? Blue. What kind of car do you have? <laughs> Like, I remember, oh my god, I remember it was like Playlist Live weekend. I would get on live and I'll be like, oh my gosh, did y'all see like Lopez twins and players that look a mess? Like, <laughs> we would just get on there and do anything. Like, no intentions of like getting a word out, making an announcement, just getting on live in vibes. And I think that's so funny. My new tripod is here. I ordered a new tripod because I feel like for some reason, all the tripods that I've ever ordered, they're either too short, too tall, too heavy, too light to the point where my camera can't be held up. Considering how light my camera is, that's a problem. So I went on Amazon and ordered a new tripod. Ooh, she's a bit heavier than I, <gasps> this is it. How do you work this though? That's so nice. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my God, this should I get excited about. You twist them and they come out? Wow, that's nice. I did some work. I filmed my what's on my iPad, blase, blase. I think I actually want to go ahead and film a YouTube video. The question is, am I just hype enough to be doing that right now? I definitely feel like I looked the part, but I just like don't know if I want to film. The lighting's really good in here right now. Like obnoxiously good. So I might film some test clips and then we shall see. Story time, I was making the beef broth. Tell me why I put the broth in the pot, right? And it's like, okay, time to make the gravy. You can see the flour clusters within the pan. Because I flopped, I literally was like, this doesn't look like my mom's. I took a spoon, took that spoon to the mouth, and I could feel the chalkiness of the flour. Make it a Trader Joe's meal instead. Tradarius Joseph always comes in clutch. I will revisit the beef stew recipe at a later date, but right now all I have is some browned beef. I don't know what it was, but I was too busy running my mouth talking to this one. I wasn't paying attention to the order in which I was doing things. So we're gonna have barbecue teriyaki chicken over rice. We're making the rice and I can't mess up rice because the rice cooker does it for me. That shit is literally awful. You wanna try it? Why? I had to try it. You should try it. You did that on your own? Imagine if I served it to you. Would you feel like me? I, did, I would. Yes, sensei. 
You wouldn't want me to like you anymore, the hell? I would slap the shit out of somebody if they had me. <laughs> God, we haven't talked all day, y'all. I need water, water, water. I did in fact have a very, 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 very good work session. So let's talk about what we did while I drive to Target because I have something I have to buy. Finished rough cutting my entire sit down how I film and edit my YouTube videos video. It's about 30 minutes so far. So I'm aiming to shave another about five off. So it's about 25 minutes-ish. Um, If not, I'm not really tripping. I also, went to go edit my girl talk video tell me why i knew i had to stop recording the video for something like i stopped recording it for whatever reason and i went in there i started recording again i know that for a fact because i saw it recording tell me why i went in there to go and continue editing it an entire file was missing and i didn't delete anything i could tell you that right now it's not my fault so instead of getting mad about it i'm just going to refilm it sooner or later preferably sooner rather than later because um i want to get it out for y'all and making sit down videos does not take as long as vlogs because i don't have to sit and hear myself talk for six thousand hours i was a little confused because as i was editing it i was like how did i go from how to deal with toxic friends to you'd be surprised how often people ask me when i'm having kids and i was like hold on something's not right and some for sure wasn't right because the file's missing it's not even on my sd card which is where i keep all my footage until i post the video like i don't delete footage anymore until i post the video and that's why i have such like big sd card sizes because i have like terabytes like of sd card footage and storage because i don't like deleting footage till it's posted because i've just had too many instances where i have whatchamacallit needed footage and or like footage like wasn't imported correctly or something like that and i couldn't get it because i deleted it so i just learned my damn lesson i just keep all my footage especially i usually keep it like a month nobody asked about this but whatever finished the rough cut of that video i went ahead i didn't scrap the girl talk video but i am gonna skim it for some points that i did make that i liked and kind of write them down and make sure i say them again because they're really good points so I did a creative brief for Walmart because I'm working with Walmart this month. Thank you, Walmart. They're not sponsoring this video, but they'll be sponsoring another video. Do y'all hear that? Or is it just windy? Target has a bunch of stuff that's on sale. When I say bunch of stuff, I mean sheets and bedding. They have like 20 or 30% off their Target Circle stuff this week, and it ends the 7th. And usually I would wait because I, okay, I usually, I'm trying to do better with spacing out my spending because as you know, being a content creator is very lucrative, but I have to wait hand and foot for people when they're ready to pay me. And for some reason, I have about three brands that need to pay me from brand deals that I did because I've met my net weight. So if you don't know what a net is, it's like net 30, net 60, net 90, net 120. That's how many business days they take to pay you. I did a lot of my brand deals over the summer. I still haven't seen half that money. And baby, we passed the net 60. Oh, do we like this guys in the kitchen in front of like a scene? They have a smaller, I'll get the smaller version. Why did my mom ask me? She was like, do you have a Dutch oven? Girl, I'm 21. Why would I have a Dutch oven? I need a new dark gray sheet set because the one in the guest room, yeah, she's done for. I put her, I put that one through this like um, washer. Like one, two, many times. <laughs> These are nice. They're the Casa Luna brand sheets i can think of any other sheets should i get two sets since they're on well it's not like it's 50 percent off so let me stop i think i might put the expensive sheets back because i didn't see these at first so no shade because these are the ones i have now the threshold things i don't know the difference between all of them but i get little stripes i don't have any fun sheets like this firm extra firm who wants a firm ass pillow and a soft i don't believe in soft <laughs> Every time I put these glasses on, I'm just like, bitch, you're so famous. Oh my gosh, who is she in her Prada glasses? Bitch, <gasps> it's Aaliyah. Let's head home. I think it's so funny that like, whenever I'm on like TikTok or like watching YouTube and somebody was like, yeah, I'm in Charlotte or how they're like visiting or like moved, whatever, like the case may be, whatever place them here, they'll be here. And I just always think it's so funny that like, I feel like I've been here so long. You can point me at any random corner here and I could tell you exactly where it's at or at least the general area. Cause so I can't remember what video I was watching or whose YouTube video I was watching, but they had like a little driving montage. Cause you know, that's what people do. Why I looked at the video and I was like, come on WT Harris, what are you doing? Like, why are you heading towards university? Literally based on the direction they were driving and showing, I literally knew which direction they were driving towards. You're showing that Olive Garden, baby, that's by the outlets. 
in South Charlotte. Right, Lulu's, you're somewhere where you need to find something safe to do. I just think it's so funny because I feel like a lot of people romanticize here and maybe it's just because I've lived here literally my entire life. So living here is just like, like it's literally just a shoulder shrug to me. I don't know, I just think it's so funny because they're like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm in Charlotte. And then they'll show like the most popular street. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know exactly why you're going and where you're going to. And then they'll post something that's like, you had to talk to somebody that lives here to know where this was and what that was. I just think it's so funny. I feel like Charlotte's so small once you live here for a really long time like I have. I've been here for 20 plus years. I'm officially 21. So of course that makes 21 plus. I just think that's hilarious. I'm about to get on the highway though. Girl, why are you on Steel Creek? Why are you on 160? Like, oh my goodness. Like the things that are like downtown are more noticeable areas, but I specifically always notice things and able to point things out when they're on like outside of downtown. It's like, oh my gosh, why are you on Sunset? Find something safe to do. Cause I love watching apartment hunting videos, but I specifically like seeing them here because I feel like the rent kind of sets the tone. And it's so funny when I see an apartment and they show like the view, I'm like, you're on the Southeast border of uptown closer to South end or like, oh, you're looking at this from Noda. I love Charlotte like apartment hunting videos though. I think they're so fun. And it's just so interesting to see like what other people think like coming from other cities. Because it's like, I don't think Charlotte's a major city. I will always say that it's definitely not like New York or LA. I always describe it as a baby Atlanta. And the fact that I've been here my whole life doesn't make it, like it doesn't help that I feel like it feels small I love seeing Charlotte through other people's eyes because to me. It's just like oh, this is home But the other people it's like wow Charlotte Hello, hello, hello Everybody I'm back from Target as you can see I'm in a different outfit and wardrobe because I was hot as hell And a part of it is because my hair is down the other part is because I had a sweatshirt on and It's 80 degrees outside all of a sudden when I'm supposed to be like 50 60 welcome to North Carolina <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a haul of everything I got from Target because even though y'all saw everything that I got I'm getting my water one second. Even though y'all saw everything I already got I wanted to show you again just in case you wanted like specific details So let's get into my Target haul. First thing I got was this core water because I was thirsty as hell Real nice. I went into Target for some sheets, so I'm gonna show you those first and foremost. Got, this is actually for my guest room because, like I said, I put them sheets through the dryer one too many times and now they're too small. So I actually got like this kind of gray speckled threshold organic wash pre-kale sheet set. It comes with two standard pillowcases, one flat sheet, one fitted sheet. And I actually really do like the light gray. I think this will really just bring a little bit more like light colors into there because there's not many light colors in that room. Light as in like more white to the colors, like dark green, versus like a light green more light is like what what and then I actually got two sheet sets for myself I only got one for the guest room because it's very rare that like I need to wash them because not a lot of people come over here and spend the night so I was like why get more than one sheet set right now when I just need some for me primarily I got myself too I got this regular white set it's the same exact um sheets as those I also got the same brand wash all that except just in a print I've never had a print sheet before very excited I think this will add some more fun into my room I guess he just wanted to sit with me. I used to always feel like embarrassed or just like, oh, why do we have to wait for a sale to like buy stuff when I was younger? And now that I'm older, mom, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I don't know what it is, but I just love a good sale. And nine times out of 10, when it comes to especially home stuff, I love buying stuff on sale because you'd be surprised at how much money you can save. These sheets originally were like 55 or $60. Of course the sale wasn't too big, but any sale is better than no sale, unless it's like 10% off. Like at that point, keep it. You're not helping me whatsoever. I got two new pillows for my room. These are the Threshold Micro Gel Down Alternative Pillow. I don't like firm pillows because I'm sane. I got new ones because the pillows that I've had on my bed, I've had for three years. You can see why. I might have wanted a new set. I also got two mats. The first mat I got is just kind of this dark gray with cream and beige. I thought this would look cute in front of like my kitchen sink or something like that, just to bring some more, you know, of that mid-century modern type of colors that you guys know I'm going for within the house. And then I also decided to get a memory foam bath rug because I no longer have one in front of my shower. Finally, one of my favorite black owned kitchen appliance brand, their stuff was on sale and it was on sale about a week ago. Then it went back to normal price and it was on sale again and I was like you know what let me get it so I decided to get myself a rotating Belgian waffle maker look how pretty this like
like gray, almost white finishes. Like, are you kidding me? That's just really good. And also, if you're ever looking for a good Christmas gift, definitely go to Target because they usually highlight black owned or black founded brands in there. Nine times out of 10, we have the Target app. It's so easy to check and see which of these things are on sale when they're full price. Honestly, no matter when you get them, you're supporting a black owned business. So go ahead and get them when you can. Why are you sniffing the bath mat like that? My favorite thing to tell people is it's about that time of year where Target does their um, Target Circle sign up. So if you sign up for Target Circle, which is just like a Target like credit card, you get like 5% cash back and then you get like a $40 gift card and everything like that. And then quite frankly, it works. It actually works out really well if you shop at Target a lot, which I know a lot of us do. Like I know a lot of y'all shop at Target just as much as me, if not more than me, because we're all kind of a little bit sticking the head. It definitely works out because I was looking at my tur like Charlotte, not Charlotte, Target Circle. Target Circle, um, Target Circle earnings, and I have almost $100. And my favorite thing to do with it, I love to save those up. And then when it's time for Christmas or I want to do a giveaway, I either apply that to gifts or giveaways. I really like to use them for giveaways because I like to give y'all Christmas gifts every year. I need to start thinking about what I'm doing for Vlogmas this year for the giveaway because I feel like it's just been a really big year for me. And I feel like everybody's just kind of getting back on track this year after having a really weird like two and a half year, three year period. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do potentially for a giveaway this Vlogmas, let me know. Can't believe I'm in the part of the year where I'm thinking about that already like is that not is that not insane are we not scared 2024 is basically here it's 7 30 and I took a little nappy <laughs> I let me sit this down and then we can discuss I have made the executive decision that I am going to refill my girl talk video tonight but since my hair appointment is at 8 a.m tomorrow I'm gonna turn it in early so this is what tonight's evening plans are looking like since I officially need groceries, I'm, I literally don't have anything to cook in my fridge, or at least anything I want. I'm gonna DoorDash again. Where I cook, like I promise you I cook when I'm at home. I feel like every time that I vlog, y'all never see me cook. And I don't know what it is, but it's a little annoying, but whatever, you guys will see it in more often. I'm gonna take a shower do a little kind of mini everything shower because I started my period a day or two ago and I'm just not feeling that great. So I'm gonna shower real good, order my food in the middle of my shower cause it's not gonna take long to get here today. And then after I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna sit down and actually film the video because that could just be the last thing that I do for the night. Because if I wake up at six and my goal is to get eight hours of sleep every night, I need to be sleep by five. It's 7.30 right now, and it's probably gonna take me about an hour and a half to film the video because I love to chat. Since I'm getting my hair washed, I don't have to do anything about it. I literally just get to wake up and go to the appointment. What a luxury. Probably I'm just gonna wake up, roll out of bed, fluff my hair a little bit, put it right back up in a pineapple. So I'm gonna quit chatting. I'm going to head upstairs. I also need to wash some clothes so I can figure out what I'm actually going to be wearing tomorrow to my appointment. So it's just a few like housekeeping things that I'm gonna do tonight. You guys, of course, will be seeing all that. Um, my nap wasn't even that long. I fell asleep watching Sims videos. A lot of y'all noticed that I <laughs> was a big um, Simsy fan. My what's in my tote bag, and that is true. I literally sit down and watch her videos like almost as soon as she uploads them every single day because they're the highlight of my afternoon. That's literally my girl. Her little um, cats, shrimp, and sunny. That's our kittens. Like, they're me and I don't even like cats like that, but those are our kittens. I think I'm gonna start this process by throwing some laundry in because I actually know what I'm gonna wear already. Just a shirt and a zip up jacket with some sweats because if they're washing my hair, I don't want my hoodie on my hoodie to get wet. So, well, these aren't even for real dry, so I don't know what the f happened there. Is the lint thing full? I'm so bad at checking this. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Bitch. <laughs> Ew. What? Look, you see how many layers there are? Literally a fire hazard, girl. I don't know if it's just me, but I can never tell if the laundry detergent is supposed to go on top of or below the clothes in the washer. Um, when I use like pods, I put them on the bottom. Bitch. Okay, so we're not using pots because it won't open. I'm just, I don't know if I'm supposed to put the laundry detergent first. I've been putting it in first, but I don't know why I literally just forgot to do it.
I did my lashes and my brows and my food came right. Open a bag. Why there's no ranch or Zach sauce in here? I complain. What does my boyfriend do? I go get it because y'all ain't gonna play with my girl. And he gets me. Gonna play with my and girl. he gets me a drink. Y'all ain't gonna play with my girl. When I saw that there was no ranch, I kid you not, I said I don't even she want this shit anymore. Want to eat it no more. Go by shot time. My 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 my. Yes, Lord. My my my. Mama. As I came up here to get set up, the fact that I don't have my outlet to plug in my special light and my like LED light just made me not want to film this right now. So I don't think I am. I'm not going to think twice about it. I'm low key getting sleepy and I want to watch my show. So we will film this another day. Maybe tomorrow my hair is fresh, maybe not. But I just feel like, I don't feel like filming right now. I'm not going to, I'm going to import my footage, relax, enjoy my own company and call it a night. hair appointment i'm gonna be extremely early but i will in fact get time to sit there and do nothing or i have to get in the chair which is always the goal rather be early than late and i'm not one of those people who likes to push it if i have to be somewhere at eight and i know it's like 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes away i'm leaving at like latest seven i don't like being late and considering this is people's livelihood we're talking about i'm not wasting anybody's time let me tell you how my attempt to go to sleep early last night went while we're here. I went and laid down at like 10.05. Tell me why I didn't go to sleep till like 12.30. And I forgot that I took a nap yesterday and I think that played a part in it because I just was not tired. Like I was just sitting there like, okay. 12.15, 12 12.30, 12 that's when I started like drifting into sleep. Didn't really think that went through, but for some reason I feel like not tired like i didn't only get like five and a half hours of sleep because that nap was about an hour so that equates to like six and it kept me up for like an extra two i just thought i should say that because i don't know what it is but i just i can't go to sleep early but maybe waking up early today will aid me in this like trying to get my sleep schedule to where i want it <laughs> morning how are you today Got my hair done. My forehead looks humongous. I'm aware I don't need to hear it 5,000 times. Since I'm not far from downtown, I'm actually stopping by my old apartment complex because I have a package there for me that I have to pick up. And I was like, what's the point of coming back again another day when I could just run by it really quick? So we're gonna do that. For me to have woken up at 6 a.m., I am actually very energetic and I think it's just because my hair is done. I haven't had my hair done since Aruba, so in August and it's October now, so I have so I had a two month break. Please gracious. I wonder if they get tired of me coming. I think this is Fenty from First Aid Beauty. And then I think this is also from Fenty, if I'm not mistaken. I'm home. Oh my God, I always feel like I look so weird the first day with braids. I just like, is it giving pinhead? I did a different style of knotless braids. You guys are probably so tired of me doing knotless braids, but these work great for my hair when I just want to put them away for three to five business weeks. But today I got small parts with really tiny braids and you guys know I am stingy when it comes to hair. So let's break down pricing. I also made a Trader Joe's Mandarin bowl. Is the Mandarin sauce in the room with us right now? For a shampoo, condition, deep condition, blow dry, small part, knotless braids, butt length, hair and included guess how much she charged me 
two thirty. And the reason it was two thirty is because she was a little late coming, so she took some money off. But usually, I think this is about two fifty. But I still gave her like two forty or two fifty, something like that, because tip because she did an amazing job. Oh, it only took five hours as well. Oh, she's also licensed. She's amazing. So if you're ever here, make sure you check out Queen Dots on Instagram. I was gonna gatekeep. I just I can't keep her a secret. She's licensed cosmetologist. She's getting certified in curly hair as we speak. Every time I go, I literally leave feeling so high energy and just so confident and just like my money's going somewhere and I just oh, I love her work every single time I love it if you're ever in Charlotte and need a braider who is so well versed definitely check her out let's open some PR mm. all right first up we have first aid beauty thank you first aid beauty for always thinking of I think first aid beauty along with Fenty beauty are some of my longest uh, relationships when it comes to PR gifts so thank you guys for always thinking of me to sending me nice little gifts because I appreciate it and I love trying your stuff. Oh my God, they have a new cleanser. It's the Gentle Cleansing Body Bar and it's good for sensitive skin, has relaxing massage bumps and a luxurious lather for the ultimate everything shop. And it's exclusively at Ulta. And then they sent me the Pure Skin Face Cleanser. <gasps> this stuff is so good. I don't know if y'all ever tried this, but this is one of my favorite face washers. I have to get PR photos of this box. Thank you, thank you. First Aid Beauty, I love you forever and always. So I think we have two Fenty's because we have two black boxes. What the fuck? I need a box cutter for down here. These little ass scissors not doing shit for nobody. What the fuck? <gasps> oh. Did they just send me a full face of makeup? It's time to get into the holiday spirit. This season we're spoiling ourselves, so focus on you. Treat yourself with this Hall of Fame lineup of look, Hall of Fame look. Hall of Fame lineup to look and feel legendary all season long. You deserve it. Get into these holiday exclusives and be sure to tag Fenty Beauty. Prep and set essential skin mattifying set. Hella thick full size volume mascara duo. Fenty Icon semi matte refillable lipsticks. Y'all, what? Are you kidding? And then the top it up. Fenty. Fenty. Fenty, thank you. You guys always think of me as well. I have to take PR photos of all of these. <laughs> oh, my fan posted a video. I need to tune into that. Okay. I'm taking the flap off. One, two, three. Oh, I see face. I have new shades of their Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lip. They sent me the shades. I'm going to tell you right now. Truth Fairy. Fireproof and Fashion Fiend, seven, nine, and 10, y'all. One swipe, full coverage, long lasting, velvet matte finish, flexible shades for all. The big Christmas box. No, now I'm angry. <laughs> How do you? Oh, she's a little slow. Um, did they send you the eyeshadow sticks? Yes. I use the brown eyeshadow stick as a lip liner. I think I need you to teach me how to do it. And it's long wear now, I just, you, Okay, she's going in raw, no lip liner, no nothing, just None. straight swatch. It doesn't look bad. It's like your lip color, but it doesn't, it's darker, it's more fall. It doesn't look bad, though. I'm so sorry. Good boy. I never like to record you getting your shots I'm because so it's very intimate, but he he doesn't like I it. I cannot do that, bro. Oh my god. Um, I'm currently with Cashew at his annual. Um, got up at like eight this morning to take him. Cashew was so good. I wish I was recording when she was like, "You have the best dog ever," because they I always love him you. when he comes. But they gave him a little vaccine shot today because the rest of his are usually two to three year long ones and he did so good he didn't cry he didn't budge they took some blood for his heartworm test and then what else did they do they expressed his glands his little tootie gland and they were full but he just let them do it and i don't know if i should be concerned or really happy that he never causes like a scene at the vet he's doing so good he's all in good health cash is like three pounds still nobody believes me when i say that he's like three soldier, pounds dude. they take him back they do what they have to do and he comes back and he's chilling like nothing happened you're a soldier i will say the one thing so we just have to give him snacks throughout the day because if we don't he will throw up by one thing about him he needs something to eat right buddy good job man we're at the vet cashew 
is a fantastic boy. We're getting him a, he's sleepy. They said the vaccine he was gonna get was gonna make him sleepy. And as you can see, um, he's very tired. He's gonna get a pup cup. I don't know if he's gonna wake up to eat said pup cup, but I hope he does. And I'm feeling a little Yeah, I should've warned you, I didn't do the shots right in front of you. Yeah, you should. Can I think I'm cheese from Starbucks? Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Okay, actually, it's been a second. We're pretty thirsty today. Uh, can I get a? I, sorry, my bad. I have a mobile order for Aaliyah. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good one. She's really pretty. Oh damn! I forgot to get this pup cup. <laughs> catch you up as to why I didn't vlog yesterday. I had to take my sister to the most interesting clinic to like get a vaccine for school. And I didn't do any work yesterday and I'm not really mad about it, but here we are today. We're like an hour post cashew appointment. I've been home chilling. I'm watching your mom Ashley and her apartment tour. Cause I love a nuke, nuke? Nuke City. I love a New York City apartment because as much as New York is fun, I don't think I could ever live there. At least not for a full year. Maybe for like three months. Carrying groceries up six flights of stairs. Oh, mm -mm. not happening. And since I didn't do anything, I'm feeling guilty because I didn't work and that's not okay. So today we're gonna have a very big computer day. Wow, so fun. And then if I get this done soon enough, I'll start pre-filming TikToks for next week which is what I did this week. So like my routine is kind of hard to pinpoint in this video for how I kind of do this, but I'm winging it, kind of doing as I go. It's, we're definitely doing something. <laughs> signing a contract to work with Walmart. Walmart pets. And I put my camera like, literally like right in front of my monitor. So one second. I'm gonna text my team. By my team, I mean Sal and Kaylee, cause I talk to them every week. Hi, did we plan on having our updates call for this week? It's a matter of media period. Dim is basically my work family. They literally help me with anything and everything I ever need. Even if it's the dumbest things. Sal's getting on. I guess we're talking to Sal today. He texts me back mad quick. <laughs> is so great i got paid <laughs> i love getting paid i know people are like money can't buy happiness but it does temporarily essentials hoodies are not big it's, look how much space i have i go buy an alka buy hoodie one time and i swear i don't have any space in my sweatshirt hoodie. since it's um friday i have my weekly updates call and let me just say q4 as just like a creator in general, I'm not gonna say it's stressful because it's it's not stressful. It's like self-inflicted stress because this is like the time that most people are Googling the most things between Halloween, costume ideas, Halloween party ideas, Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving recipes, ways to decorate your house for spooky season, decorating for Christmas, Christmas ideas. It's so many opportunities to get found and it feels like almost more than you and it feels almost like overwhelming. I feel like I say all the time, it's like, oh, it's my first first time not being a college student during this time. Because like it is, and this is my first time not being in college during one of my favorite times of the year as a person and a creator, because it's just so fun. I feel like I connect with so many people during this time of year unintentionally. Now I'm doing it intentionally because I love connecting with people. I literally started social media to make friends. Trying my best to post more, be seen. This is all the time where brands spend the most money, okay? So if you see brand deals from a lot of people on TikTok, Instagram, it's because this is when they spend the most money. Brand be blowing bank let me tell you, you don't even want to know the half of it y'all but right now um i have two sponsorships that are signed and ready to go and i have to send over my creative concept for one is actually a long-term deal which i'm pretty sure you guys can tell it's with better help so i'm locked in with that so i have to send over my concept 
what I'm gonna post and how long am I supposed to be working with them? I should also stop talking about I use Notion for all this, by the way. People always ask me like, how do you plan your stuff? And I hope throughout this video, I've been answering your questions. I use Notion to plan my teams and it's because it's just the easiest and most flexible for me. But I need to update my sponsorship like thing. So basically in here, I gave you guys a Notion tour. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it because like, what else can I say if I already gave you a tour? And I'll link that video. Um, what? I'll, what? I'll, what am I trying to say? I'll link that video at the card and then down below if you guys want to see it because, hello. I'm editing my um, sponsorship brand deals and collabs tab right now because if somebody's paying me, I need to make sure that I know that they paid me and I need to go into my bank account and double check because Sal saying something hit my bank account. Shit, it got cold in here and now all of a sudden I can't think. My God. Today's goals. I want to finish this YouTube video. I also want to film my girl talk because I need to post something and it takes no time for me to film, post, and upload a girl talk, whatever. Film, edit, upload a girl talk. So I want to film. So, okay. Today what I need to do is finish this sit down video. I need to pay off my credit card statement balance not the entire balance well i probably could pay off the entire balance that's probably the smart thing to do but i'm trying to space things out and i need to start scheduling and editing tiktoks that i haven't done the past couple days because one thing about me my brain it's either oh you're a youtuber or you're a tiktoker and never just you're a social media person so you need to be posting everywhere because i'm obviously an idiot and i'm not about my bread but since i have this video coming out i just need to make a trailer for this on youtube post it on shorts youtube shorts instagram and tiktok so video trailer credit card and i would ideally like to film a girl talk today i don't know how i'm gonna film the girl talk because last time i filmed it it was really nicely set up but it just a whole i told did i tell you all this a whole portion of it was missing that's like not good so i have to refilm it because i'm not gonna post a half filmed video y'all deserve better than that this editing is taking a lot longer than i thought um I'm only four and a half minutes in. Mm, somebody sedate me. So I'm gonna put my AirPod Pros on. I'm gonna zone out. I have my Lofi Halloween girl in the back and I don't even really need to hear her. I just need to see her to make sure she's here with me because she's my emotional support working partner when you don't have any content friends in your city. Crazy what she can do for some people. Also, look at this bag I got from Urban Outfitters. It gives sack. This is like a knapsack. <laughs> this is so knapsack coated. You will never guess what time it is. Never. Ever. Yeah. It's 11.30 and I'm just not finishing that video. I started editing that video at about, I'm gonna say a later time than I really think it is. I started editing that video at one and I'm just now finishing up. And it's crazy, I'm not even technically done so I still have to make an intro for it, which is the hardest and most important part. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna have my boyfriend watch it and then I'm gonna watch it again to finalize it. But I will say, this is the second week in a row where I have in fact been able to meet my finish your video either the day before or two days before your upload day. Cause you can ask my boyfriend, cause he gets annoyed when I have to sit in front of a computer on a day that I'm supposed to be relaxing. It'll be like a Sunday morning, I'm waking up at 6 a.m. to finish a video and it'll still get posted late. So now you see why I have to, um, whatchamacallit, do it a day or two early, because if I don't, I'm gonna be pushing it. And it messes with me why I miss my upload days to this point, because I've been doing so good for so long, I'll be mad at myself. It's probiotic time. I'm taking the, um, this, this is Ollie's probiotic and prebiotics for a balanced belly. I don't know if this does anything. If it's a placebo, they definitely got me. I'm gonna follow that up with Miss Shitter herself. Y'all know how I feel about this. <laughs> This stuff is crazy. It's come to the point where if I take this in the morning, knowing I drink coffee every day, recipe for disaster. So I started taking them at night because if you got my stomach feeling like that, I have no business being awake when you're flowing through my system. I'm gonna take one of these. Y'all know how I feel about these. These are really good. They're a honey pot urinary tract. So actually, no, I think I'm okay. I'm good off these tonight. I recently bought a new can of these. That's how I was at Target or two Target trips, three Target, whatever. I was at Target recently. This has become a nighttime thing because I can't ever remember to do it in the morning. Why is this drawer open? Damn drunk junk fuck. Damn junk drawer face nowhere up. Anyway, um I don't know what's coming in down here, but this hurts and this itches. So I think this is just a bug bite. I'm getting paranoid because of the Paris rah rah. And I haven't been near anybody that's been to Paris recently, but it's still like my paranoia. Cause I was like, oh my gosh. I'm itchy right here. I wonder what that is. 
Most of the time it's probably just a mosquito bite. I was leaning on it and I'm like, oh, that feels good. But look at this. Or it could just be a pimple that itches. Who knows? This is definitely a pimple coming in. And then I don't know what that is. So I get for wearing makeup every day for like the past week and a half. I'm going to take a shower and get my ass in the bed. And then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when I do some more um, creative type of stuff. So <sighs> thanks for sticking it out today with me because it wasn't that interesting. This is why I need to be in the bed by 10 o'clock. Because why my AC on 66 and I haven't even showered yet? Baby, this heat, this heat, it's getting put on 72. And when I get out, right back down to 66, okay? this entire plan as to how it's gonna go get my drink come back in the car sit down sip and it'll just be the introduction to today why does starbucks look like a war zone so i'm just gonna wait in my car and then we'll remake it <laughs> in a second no. Excellent. They didn't have the right size straws, but thankfully I'm a professional straw thief who doesn't know how to only take one thing at a time. I think I have a venti Starbucks straw. I, this is McDonald's. Hold on, y'all. Ah, love being a thief full time. <laughs> Let me put all this in there. I, did I say today was Friday? Or, this is a regular size straw. Whatever. I don't have any technical work obligations, but I include self-care and fun things to be productive because if it was up to me, I would work every day for the rest of my life because I am in fact falling a victim to capitalism. But aren't we all? Today, I actually wanna do something pretty fun. I have been wanting to black out my emblems on my car literally for the longest time. Um, if you don't know what the emblems are, it's like the logo. Um, any wording that came like on the car from the dealer and they're silver right now, which is cool, but I think blacked out would look a lot better. And I looked up how to do it on YouTube because one thing about me, if I could do something for cheaper and less time if anything for free and i can do it on my own time i gotta wait on nobody i'm gonna do it because hello so i found a way to do it on youtube but i think i'm gonna go ahead and actually do it today this stuff called plasti grit plasti drip plasti what is that i should know the name of it i've seen it like twice by now Hold on. plasti dip and basically it's like a spray paint so i'm gonna get some masking tape this plasti dip and then i have tweezers at home that i can do this with and it's just like coating it's not like paint no today's starbucks order it's the venti blonde it's the venti uh blonde lock I also got a breakfast sandwich because I haven't ate and I have no groceries and then I got a croissant so I'm excited I'm kind of nervous but if I don't do it now I'm gonna regret not doing it later so let's do it they have like regular paint oh wait there's plastic dip I have the black and then the glossifier after hearing how much this cost I'm realizing I probably <laughs> should have just gone to walmart especially because i'm probably gonna use this once but you know what that was a very peaceful experience so i'm not really like upset about it i just got on advanced auto parts and let me give you a little haul so i decided to get the black plastic dip and then the glosser because my car is in fact glossy not matte finish so it doesn't make any sense hello that was <laughs> it just didn't make any sense at least in my mind to get like matte finisher if none of my other parts of my car are matte it's kind of silly if you ask me i basically invented black ice i love black ice with um supernova but considering how much these were seven dollars weren't little trees like 50 cents to the point or am i losing and then i decided to get fresher car auto vent sticks um because i love my car it smells good and it's not like my car ever like smells bad but i definitely you know could put a little bit more in effort into that so let me turn my car on do i not have car scissors anymore i think somebody took my car scissors out my car they sure did oh y'all suck i do in fact keep scissors in my car and i remember i've said that like the very first time like some time ago i can't remember what really possessed me to share that information because i feel like y'all think i was insane for saying that can these little trees just come down like is this twisted with the little trees where's my key I can't believe my fucking car scissors are gone my prides and joys i love having scissors in my car because you just never know where you're gonna have to open something last minute or you know somebody tries you and you don't got a blicky because i don't 
ever want one of those there you go why is this doing this is it just like twisted up i don't want to cut this tassel because it's my grad well it's not even my for real grad tassel i mean i can't even cut it anyway because i don't have my car scissors anymore i don't even know what i'm talking about but i put this up because i just feel like i should have more fun stuff in my car that makes my car me because i feel like forever my car has just been my car it's a cool car great experience but i just feel like it could be more like personal so i think i might order some stuff for my car soon as obviously you can see i've been wanting to do stuff to it to make it a little bit more fun and like intriguing and just a little bit more like personal when i first got my car a lot of y'all were like oh my gosh do a decorate your car with me like de decorate your car like for a video and i was like how am i gonna decorate a car but now that it's been two years or almost three years actually since i got this car i understand it now but like i don't want to put like too much in here because it can become too much really quickly and that's super duper annoying so i'm gonna try to find a middle ground for something because i love my car i just want to do a little bit more to it when i bought it i was perfectly happy with it and i'm still so happy with my car i don't think i'm gonna be getting a new car literally anytime soon thoughts of like a new car are like so fun and then it's like i have no car note right now why would i do that and just because i can do something doesn't mean i should so there's really no point in me getting a new car like anytime soon out of sheer just like want and i've never like just done something that extreme because i wanted to like that don't even sound like me for real y'all know that literally going to ride these ride this honda till the wheels fall off since i put the plastic drip gloss on it because i put the gloss on it i just didn't film it because i filmed it for tiktok instead and i'm gonna go ahead and take the big chunky parts of the plastic drip off because that's gonna be the easiest part and then i'm gonna go back inside grab some tweezers now it's time to take off like the outer frame and then actually like get into the crevices with like tweezers i'm gonna get my super sharp one so i don't have to use an exacto knife so let's get to peeling the letter. Some whitening strips. I, also, I really like the rebrand from the shiny blue to the matte blue. I started my um Crest 3D White Dental Whitening Kit. Vivid White 7 Levels Lighter removes over 10 years of stains at 12 days once per day for 30 minutes treatments last night. This is treatment number two. You have to do these every day for 30 minutes. So I just feel like as I'm getting ready, actually no, because that makes no sense to start my day off with teeth whitening. That's kind of silly. Disregard that. If I had my nails done, this would be a whole lot better. Um, I want to smell like my Zara perfume. My Zara perfume's in my bag, so I'm gonna end up smelling like it regardless. But today, black opium day. I've been re-cleaning my piercings like I just got them because I noticed my nose been my nose and my ears have been having a few issues. I've had my ears pierced for five years now, and my nose has been pierced for three full years now. Or almost three full years, so probably closer to two and a half, maybe. And it's been having a bunch of issues, so I've just been cleaning it and treating it like I would if I first got it. And it's made a really big difference. I noticed I think my skin was um rejecting the jewelry I had in here, and granted, the jewelry I've had in here, I've had in here for the longest time because they put an L shape in me when I first got got it i don't know how typically like normal that is but these are a pain to get out and i'm not the best when it comes to self-inflicting pain or doing things i know are going to be extremely painful and then this with being as irritated as it is it's not the best but hopefully i hope to get it changed like soon better if i have somebody take it out for me because my boyfriend will literally have a borderline panic attack if he knows he is inflicting pain on me in any type of way and i can't take it out myself because i know it's going to hurt so i just need to get a new titanium piercing so if you guys have any recommendations recommendations on where to get some let me know and i'll be greatly appreciated i'm just wiping some of that bump treatment on my ears even though they don't have any bumps on there i guess i should say like good morning happy sunday i didn't plan on vlogging 
for six days straight i mean it makes sense because it's a weekly vlog i don't know where we started pulling a five day weekly vlogs out from because i could have sworn a week was seven days these content creators love a little five day monday to friday tuesday to saturday what happened to the full seven days you know you guys like the long videos so i was like you know what let me just vlog today because i feel like i didn't really showcase the um uploading going live process too much in this video and today is sunday which is my upload day because i upload every single sunday and i've been doing super good at that for almost i believe it's between 15 and 20 weeks i never know exactly how many it is i have to go back and count um i've been doing really good at that and i don't want to break the streak i want to get in the habit of never missing an upload on sunday i know like life happens and stuff like that but i always just want to make sure you guys know i'm still here <laughs> and you guys can always guarantee that i will post a video on sunday i have been starting to post like um early on Sundays usually when my videos are ready the past two uploads so the one that's going up today and then a fall vlog that I just did I went live at like 12 p.m. so like noon eastern time I feel like because it's Sunday a lot of people are just kind of taking it lazy or they're getting ready to be productive for the day around that time I just feel like Sundays are lazy days and by the time you get on YouTube later you'll see that I had already posted I feel like six is kind of late especially with like the sun going down so damn early all of a sudden I don't know what that's about I feel like the new time is just very helpful and then of course i'm gonna premiere it so i'm gonna be able to talk to you guys all that fun stuff rah rah so you guys will be seeing that process leading up to that also this pimple is huge and it's so it's so painful i almost like don't even know like what to do with myself the best thing for me i'm gonna do a little makeup today i don't really need it but i'm gonna use it the liquid elf um poreless primer i love the putty primers from elf i think they're really good for um what they do i love a poreless like i love a poreless primer what can i say especially in like my t-zone area um i'm not putting that much on but this does blur pores so i just like to put it everywhere i don't know why i'm putting on primer like i've never done it my life i'm trying not to like touch this pimple too much because it is painful to the touch i feel like pimples showing up hurts more than the pimple like being there and i haven't really doing anything to like treat it i've just been kind of letting it take its course okay i'm going in with the makeup by mario concealer i actually tried this out a few weeks ago when i got my nt foundation sticks and it's actually really 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 good people say you don't need to set it but you definitely do it sets itself to an extent but as somebody with creased under eyes i need a I need to set it. My under eyes crease so much and it probably has to deal with the place when I wear I put my concealer. I should probably be putting it lower, but you don't need to be all up in my face like that if you can see where my concealer is creasing. And boom, under eyes are transformed. In the fall, I feel like I'm definitely, like I feel like in general, I'm usually just like a concealer only girly. Like I'll wear like skin tint and stuff like that, like here and there. I'm gonna cover this up the best I can cause I don't wanna see it. Really die hard concealer girl like i don't really wear foundations and skin tint too much because uh it's a lot of them feel heavy i will say my most recent favorite that i could see myself wearing on a daily basis that doesn't feel heavy is the uh fenty like stick i think i'm starting to get to the point where i'm running out so if you guys have any blush recommendations i love rare beauty but i just want to expand my palette i've been wanting to get more into um whatchamacallit powder brush powder blush not brush <laughs> sorry I feel like I could be really good at makeup if I just give like a give myself like a good three months to actually like actually want to switch up my routine. I think that would eat. Do y'all think that would eat? I think it would be fun. And of course I'll make like TikToks about it, but I did not do a good job covering that. Every time I smell this setting spray, it just takes me back to like 2019. Like I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I use that and that was like my go-to like setting powder. Not setting powder, setting spray. Every time I smell it, I just instantly get taken back to me doing get ready with me is on live, getting bullied on my own spam. Like <laughs> it, just, it was just a whole thing. Like if you know you know okay 2019 was such a fun yet traumatizing year I, I get nostalgic for it but i think i get nostalgic for the parts that didn't involve the internet <sighs> I'm back. I feel like it's so weird to see myself in glasses because I haven't been wearing my glasses recently. Even like around the house, I've been popping them contacts in and I've been going through contacts that usually took me a year to go through in two months. So it's not really the best financially, but here we are. I guess I'm a contact girly now, but I have my pair. I wear blue light glasses on. You can kind of see the reflection. Yeah, whatever. I am sitting down because it's 
about an hour to live time, which means I need to go ahead and do anything that I need to do that is last minute, add links and all that. And last night I had the bright idea. A lot of people like to use Amazon, but the prices I use within my video are based on Best Buy because I feel like Amazon prices fluctuate too much. Like I feel like when you say something's a certain price at Amazon, it'll change like two days later, it'll go up, it'll go down. So I just use the Best Buy prices. I'm gonna link my creator storefront with everything that I mentioned. And then I'm also going to link a Obsessed With The page, which is a page that you can use through this uh, tool called Magic Links. Some people prefer to buy on Amazon, which is cool, but I feel like since I'm promoting so much stuff, I deserve to get a little commission. Sorry, I'm trying to open these crackers. Everything I always link in my description box is commissioned, unless I say so. But I feel like this is a very good opportunity for commissions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that my my storefront is updated with everything that I mentioned. Hello, welcome to a Sunday in my life. I haven't really, have I said that? Not enough. Also, I want y'all to see the state of like my sock. Why is my toenail peeking through the front? I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been running through socks and it's probably because I've had these socks for so long. But anytime I see a hole in the sock, I just, I have to get rid of it. I'll do a lot of things, but holy socks, it's not one of them. I'm sorry. I've been very hard at work today. I feel like I've conquered so much and I want to say, let me get a cup. I want to say I have been talking about getting an editor for the longest time and I've always been so scared and so embarrassed because if you're seeing my raw footage, you might not really know me, you're seeing like just like all the raw stuff, right? I decided today because I literally had like a really long list of things that I had to edit today. And today I was just like, you know what? F it. We're going to send two of these videos to an editor and just hope for the best. Now, granted, these are short form videos, so like TikToks, Instagram reels, all that. But I sent it over, paid for it, and they're supposed to be getting back to me by tomorrow. So you guys won't see my reaction to this. But I will say the next time I kind of do a content creation like focused vlog like this one, you guys will be seeing that. I was kind of going to kind of go about today day as like an editing day and scheduling day because I have planning days, I have editing days, but I don't have like sit down, edit the short form stuff that you keep filming and then not touching and then schedule it. I'm doing today and I was gonna show you um like post editing process because you guys see me editing a lot because if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna edit. This juice doesn't taste how it's supposed to. Um, I didn't really post on TikTok or anything this week because I just had to take a little break and I was consistent for like two weeks straight. So I was like, you know what? Don't beat yourself up. It's hard to keep up on TikTok. So the two videos I sent to the editor, one was to consolidate the video I just posted down into like a teaser video. So I can post it as like a midweek type of like reminder that I posted it. So I can post it on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Reels, YouTube Reels, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok because I feel like people forget that I post on there and why I have all these platforms if I can't use them to my benefit. So you basically tell them how you want it to be paced, how you want the video to feel. I only have one sock on. This is stupid. Does this one have a hole? It's getting there. Okay, no socks today. Submit the raw file of whatever you want, but then you tell them how you want it to be paced, how you want it to feel, if you want it to be edited similarly to like any other videos. I kind of just want to see how they do off rip because with short form content, I feel like you don't really necessarily have to have a style. You just have to have to get like, you just have to have the video done. So I'm not really like as picky as I would with like a YouTube video. Now I will say I was on Fiverr this morning looking for an editor because I found editors that will charge like 240 for like one YouTube video. There's an editor that I really wanna work with, but her price is out of budget and I would never ask a creative to lower their budget or lower their pricing just so it could accommodate me. So if I wanna work with her, girl, just make more money. I just need to start outsourcing because as you can see, I do everything on my own. Like it's cool and everything. I do everything on my own. If I didn't have to sit so much at my computer, I could post a lot more and this would help with growth, exposure, and consistency because I don't wanna post just one YouTube video a week. I don't wanna post on TikTok five times a week trying to figure out which one's more important um tiktok instagram youtube i want to have people that can help me actually fulfill the wants and goals that i have for social media and outsourcing is a way to do that so i'm officially into my editor bag so i feel like i'm finally getting to a place where i'm at a point where i don't have to spend so much time looking at myself but also i could spend time with myself and because of that i can film more which means i could post more so if you see me posting more on anywhere just know i'm getting my team together it's gonna happen i'm speaking into an existence 
comments y'all pray for me that i can find an editor good pricing consistent ones that i can work with on a good basis and they make great videos fingers crossed and that i can find an assistant here in charlotte that can help just take a lot of this weight off i've been saying it for months like i even said this like last year i was like i need to look into an editor but i was in college and i was just too busy and then it just wasn't in budget so i just you know but i'm in a different spot now so it's in budget now girl and now we're gonna start actually working and trying 2024 goal post more i'm still gonna have the same standards once a week but if he's gonna be posting more just know found the editor or I just found a really good filming and posting schedule like that I can manage. Welcome to my bathroom. I wish it wasn't so yellow. But I decided to bring you guys upstairs as I was kind of like getting ready for my night shower because I wanted to just go ahead and close out today's video. I feel like we've literally spent forever together. I usually never vlog for weekly vlogs this long. The fact that I've been doing this for seven days straight and tomorrow I'm actually gonna give myself a break from at least vlogging, maybe not filming, but vlogging is actually kind of like insane. It kind of feels weird that I won't be carrying my camera around for hours on end every day. I'm currently just like I said, getting ready for my shower. I usually just put my hair in this little pony, put on my little shower cap and then get in the shower, whatever. I just wanna come up here and say, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Hope you guys learned something or you were entertained or you got background noise or something to put you to sleep, whatever. I'm glad you got what you needed from this video. If you did, if you didn't, let me know what I can do better. Simple. You want something, I can deliver it. Subscribe if you're new. Um, and if you're not new, make sure those notifications are on. All y'all talking about some, oh, I missed the video, I missed the video, I missed the video. But not all y'all have y'all notifications on. YouTube be telling me. I be knowing when y'all are on the app, who has the notifications on and who's subscribed and who isn't. So I need, I listen, I need to know. I need you to double check, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing like my little teeth lightning strips and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on ready for the day. Thank you so much for spending the week with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace everybody. Love ya.